G'day guys, today we're doing an optimization question that reads a rectangle has its base on the x-axis and its upper two vertices on the parabola y equals 12 minus x squared. What is the largest area the rectangle can have and what are its dimensions? Okay, so let's get to it. If we can label some key points on our graph, we know this quadratic here has a y-intercept of 12. So we can just, I just put these in so I can just get a feeling for what's going on. And this is the point that our rectangle hits the graph. Let's just call this x comma y. Now, what we need to do is we need to come up with a strategy to uh, go about solving this. Now, the area of a rectangle, hopefully most of you are aware that that equals the length times the width of the rectangle. Now, the length of this rectangle, we're going to call the base, the bit that is touching the x-axis. But what we're going to deal with is we're only going to deal with the positive x domain. So we're only going to deal with numbers x is greater than or equal to 0. So what our length is going to be is we know that a quadratic function is symmetrical about the y-axis when we have it looking like this. So what we can do is I'm just going to work with our positive x values and then I'm just going to multiply them by 2. So our area of this function, if we start by inputting the variables that we know, is equal to the length, which we're going to call x, but because I'm going to multiply it by 2, it's going to be 2x. And then I'm going to multiply that by the width. Now let's just check out what the width is. The width is the y value at what at whatever point we take for the x value. So the, the width of this rectangle is the corresponding y value for the x value that which we're taking for its length. So we can, the and we know that the relationship between the width of the uh, rectangle and the length of the rectangle is going to be this one here. So we know that the width is going to be equal to the y component, which is equal to 12 minus x squared. So what we can then do is we can substitute this equation in because what we would normally have is we'd have well the area is going to be equal to 2xy but because we have just figured out what y is we can substitute this into here and that will give us the area of the rectangle in terms of one variable x which is equal to 2x times 12 minus x squared and we'll fix that up a little bit that's equal to 2 times 12 which is 24 x minus 2 x cubed cool so now that we have the area of our rectangle in terms of one variable x what we can do is we're going to just differentiate this. So we, this is where the optimization comes in. So we're going to differentiate area in terms of x with respect to x. So we're going to go dA dx. And this is going to be equal to 24 minus 2 times 3 is 6 x squared. Now we have to make that we know that the point of interest that we're looking for here is going to occur at a maximum point. So this area, the derivative function at the maximum point is equal to zero. So what we're going to do is we're going to factorize this so we can solve for x. So what we can do first, I would take out a six and we're left with four minus x squared equals 0 and then I would factorize that quadratic inside the bracket which is a difference of squares so I can go that's going to be equal to 2 minus x 
2 plus x is equal to 0. And then we can then write that x is going to have to be equal to 2, or x is going to have to be equal to minus 2. But because we're dealing with the positive x domain here, we're going to just take this x value. So, once we've found our x value, we can then figure out what our corresponding y value is. So we're going to substitute that in. So we're going to have y is equal to 12 minus x squared, which is just 2 squared. So we've got 12 minus 4, which is 8. So what we can do now is once we've got our x, we know that our full length is going to be equal to 2x, so it's going to be 4. So we can then just work out what our area is. We'll just take it back up to the top. And we can work out what our area is by going length times width. So our length is going to be 2x. So that's 4 times the width, which is 8. And the maximum area is going to be equal to 32 you can and units squared now just for completeness we would then write what the dimensions are so we'd say the length is equal to 2 times 2 which is 4 and the width is equal to 8 and there you have it. So this is quite an easy optimization question. There's not much to it. There's not much algebra either. But it's just forming that link between um, the y and its corresponding x value, as well as like knowing to just use the positive x domain and then multiply it by two because of the symmetry of the quadratic function. If you go if you don't go wrong in any of those bots, you should be fine in solving this question and you should be able to solve it relatively easily. Well, so I hope you that helped and I'll see you again here next time.